I just got back from the testing center and I passed, woohoo! I passed my T2 and I actually passed pretty well this time. So I'm excited because a lot of the questions are fresh in my head. I just finished studying vigorously before I took the test. So first off, if you haven't seen our videos, my name is David. I'm an AAC certified master tech with my L1 and soon to be certified master truck tech because I need two more tests for my T-series. But ultimately, I'm going for my world-class technician certification or adventure or journey. But anyways, let's dive right into it. First off, you want to buy the Motor Age book. I am not sponsored. I wish I was sponsored. If I was sponsored, I feel like they wouldn't even, you know. But anyways, this is a great book. This is fantastic. But the T2 is a heavy read. So you need to make sure that you read this. Set a schedule for yourself. What I would do is I would walk around and my wife would be cooking and I'd be reading to her. She was half listening, but it was good for me to read out loud because I sometimes am not very disciplined to read in general. But I try to read a lot of this because this is a really thick book. And then I did the tests in the back, the questions. And when I got a question wrong, I would go deep into it, which I did. But I also bought the AAC official practice test, which is really important. All I could say without getting in trouble is that there was very similar questions on the AAC practice test to the actual test, which I felt like was a freebie. I felt like that was exciting. I don't know if they did it on purpose or whatever, but I was like, oh, I know that one, click. And I felt good about it. So what I do when I am questioning uh, something, I make sure that I go back and I look at the front of the text, make sure I, if they have anything that I didn't look at. And then after that, I start going in the internet. So this time around, what I did is I set up a little playlist. There's not a lot of videos on here. There's like three of them. But I'm going to put that playlist in the description. And there's some videos that really help me understand certain things that I was having an issue with, like the high pressure injectors and stuff like that. So let's talk about some of the areas that you want to look into when you're studying for this test. Well, first off, you really want to understand the diesel fuel systems, the, uh, the way that it works, the way that something go wrong, how to troubleshoot it to the hydraulic uh, injectors, you know, they utilize engine oil and you need to know how that uses that, how the high pressure uh, functions, both the, the, the hydraulic way, the mechanical way, the, how the valve train opens up the injector. You really need to understand the difference between a hydraulically injector system and also the electronic injection system. And don't get those confused. When you're taking your AAC test, you need to slow down and read the question because their tests, they're really good. They could be tricky. Like they could be tricky if you don't really understand something. So make sure you read those questions very well. But when you're talking about the diesel engine, first off, you're really gonna have to do a lot of research. If you've never taken apart an engine and put one back together, you're really gonna be far behind. And I recommend that you go shadow someone, you go watch a bunch of videos, or you try to learn as much as you can because being a certified master technician in the automotive side, really diesel engines are different, but they are the same as well. So having those concepts, having that foundation is gonna be helpful. If you don't, I really emphasize that you go to you know, a machine shop or you go somewhere and you really get brushed up on the real aspects of how to build an engine and understanding every single component. I want to talk about some of the things that they really emphasize both on the test and the book, and that's going to be the emission system, the, the depth system. The thing about it is I've never owned a, a truck that has that blue cool stuff and stuff like that. And I've always wondered why you always see those containers at the gas station. Well, essentially that is utilized with the different systems in a diesel truck after a certain time the laws came out that it reduces black smoke it reduces the particulars and it reduces emissions but you need to know how all those systems work so you're really going to have to know how some of these emissions things work like the def tank you're going to have to know about the filter you're going to have to know about the scr catalyst those are some of the videos i have in the playlist because i was like what? <laughs> because I haven't dealt with that. But it's pretty self-explanatory because diesel has a lot of certain particulars and all that. And the way that the system works is like there's a, a, a filter that it goes through it and then the def gets sprayed into it to convert it into ammonia or blah, blah, blah. But it's really good to see the videos that I'm talking about because they actually show it to you in a visualization. It helps you understand it. And the cool thing is once you see that visualization, you could really understand how something goes wrong, if there's an exhaust leak, if the filter's plugged up. And a lot of those questions are going to be in a test about that system. 
system. So you really need to make sure that you read the Motor Age book, really understand that system, and uh, make sure you know about the DPF system and all that. So a couple of things going back to engine building is you really need to understand how engine braking works. Again, a new topic to me. You need to understand how the solenoids work. You need to understand how the actual valve uh, operation works uh, on the typical engine braking system. All this stuff is gonna be really important for you to understand. The best thing I could say is if you have some engine building experience, if you do the Motor H book, if you watch uh, the videos that I'm talking about, and if you take the AC official practice test, if you do all that, you're gonna be ahead of the curve. For me, giving a helpful video on this is really, it's tough because it's such a broad topic that I can't hit on everything. But I will tell you this, you really need to emphasize on that emission systems. You really need to know about DAP, you need to know about that filter, you need to know everything about it, how it works, um, what it does, uh, what happens when it fails. I can't emphasize on how important that is. And then brush up on your basic uh, troubleshooting skills for electrical stuff, real basic stuff. You know, if you have a high resistance in a wire, uh, if a solenoid, if a relay is open or closed, or if it's stuck open or closed, if a starter's worn. Uh, also know the intricacies of what tools to use whenever you're looking at building an engine, uh, plastic gauges, uh, torque to yield bolts, uh, things like that, knowing uh, how to uh, talking about, you know, the cylinder bores, shims, head gaskets, all the stuff that, in my opinion, if you're taking this test, you should really be familiar with. And as a technician, if you're very familiar with stuff, don't get, um, uh, I'm, it's a tough word, but don't get arrogant and be like, oh, I know how to build engines. Take the time to buy this book. But again, I'm not sponsored because I've tried all the books. Del Mar is a good book. I mean, uh, Del, Del Mar. I mean, okay, that's an okay book, but the Motor H book is better. And then take a by the official AC practice test. And by the time you're done with the answers in the back of the Motor H book, you should be able to get them all right. And every topic they talk about, you should be well-versed or you should have read on. Nothing should be uh, 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 unfamiliar to you. You shouldn't be like, oh, what is, you know, what is a plastic gauge? Or, you know, what is an HE... UI system, which is of course a high pressure uh, injector system. Uh, you know, you should know all the acronyms, the DPF stuff, you should know how it works. Um, all this stuff is really important. You should know the basics of engine building uh, and stuff like that and the tools associated with that and understanding the basic components of an engine. Well guys, thank you for watching. We appreciate it. We wish you luck. We have videos on all the automotive stuff, all the truck stuff, the L1 stuff. I'm missing two uh, truck series. So once we get those, we'll have them completely done. We're going for a world class. We also have a website on driver's therapy where you could brush up on some extra classes. And if you need any help, just email me because I'm always here to help you out. All right guys, thank you for watching. Hit the like button, subscribe. It's always a big thank you. You take care and good luck on your test.